Um, hi, good evening. So I'll be talking about the female crowdfunding website, which is the next chapter. And it was developed by Function8, which I am working. OK, this is my first time to talk, so let me introduce myself to you. So my name is April Kwong, so I'm 20-something years old. So guess <laughs> how old. So I'm currently working as a project manager in Function8 for eight months, so quite new. And I'm a web developer in PHP for six years, and I do yoga as well. So, so about Function8, so a little brief about my company, So, because I need to. Uh, what we do, so we outsource IT support, IT infrastructure, web and mobile development, and we also do some hosting. So our offices is in Singapore, Hong Kong, Shanghai, and New Zealand. So if you know, want to know more about the company, you should visit the functionate.com. Okay. So some projects that I've done with Functionate is the British Chamber of Commerce in Singapore, British Chamber of Commerce in Hong Kong, and some of those mini sites that we did. Um, SME at Singapore Chamber, of uh, Singapore uh, Indian Chamber, and Merx and other companies here. So, uh, what is next chapter? So, next chapter is a funding portal for female entrepreneurs and women-owned business. So, basically, so it's more for women. So, I think d we believe that women should support women. So, it's more of like. Uh, it, we're comfortable about women supporting us. So that's what I said. So it is focused, it's focused on businesses by women creating products, services that women will love. Okay. So this is us. So the founder is Nicole Den Holder. So she's based in Hong Kong now. And uh, Function8 and Charlotte Fernandez, who did the user experience or interface for the website. Okay. So. So here are uh, so far we have three campaigns running. Uh, it was went live around when was that? Around December, so first week of December, and we have so far we have two successfully funded campaigns. So the first one is the My Hong Kong Vehicle book. So it's all about like vehicles found in Hong Kong. So he put it in a book that makes the children get excited. So it's project by Elise Philipson. So the target was 2,800. Uh, it was funded through 1,516 US dollars. So there are, there are 70 backers. And the second one is the Sari Slimming Leggings. So the, it's a project owned by Stephanie Poon. So she's quite a successful lady. And the target was supposed to be 15,000 US dollar. And it, the f and it got funded for 16,333 US dollars, so 131 backers. So this is quite like messy. So this, this campaign is quite stressful because like after a uh, one week before the campaign will close, it's like the Nicole was like, oh, we're not yet, we're not yet uh, targeted the campaign, what we do? And then she's like looking all the hit maps. Why is it no people scrolling? So I think we, uh, we realized the, the very importance of the user experience. <laughs> So next, what is this? So how next chapter works? So how's the website working? So basically, if I'm a woman or a co-founder co for uh, any business and I have this idea, product, or anything else, then I will sign up to ch next chapter and then upload my campaign and yeah, share it with other people. OK, so here is the process. So it's quite, yeah, it's moving. Cool. Um, first is I register an account as a campaign owner and then activate an account. So uh, admin or the, the admin of the website should um, check if the campaign is, doesn't involve any drugs or any porn, something like that. And then, and then create, I uh, know, activate account is, activate account is like, checking if you're an authentic person. So next is create your account and then submit for review. So this is what is going on. So, so admin either approves or reject your campaign for editing. Editing means like you add more information like slides, rewards, and YouTube videos and pictures. So next one is when approved, the campaign owner will update the campaign and add more details. And then after that, 
she or she can submit for final review and then admins approve or reject the campaign and if approved then campaign is now running so this uh, we um, once your campaign is running then we have this launch date field so when it launches then it will like it will automatically display the campaign on the day that it launches okay so this is the example of like the page of the campaign page so it will display how many is like Kickstarter any crowdfunding site that we have right now so it will see the goal 100 backers and then just click fund if you want to pledge okay so how to pledge so if I am a like man or woman can pledge and then so I register as a member log in as a member or log in as Facebook for convenient and as a guest so as a guest we just don't like okay enter your name or email details and that's it we also like save the member ID so that we can just uh, identify that okay it's your second pledge okay it's your third pledge so that's it so so the current payment process so currently we're using the PayPal um, it's the basics like receiving payment like sending payments that's uh, for now so it's just so <coughs> basic process currently so redirect so the website will redirect to PayPal then send money to the next chapter and then when the payment completed then it redirect to back to the pledge page like this one that page so okay so when the campaign ends it will be all or nothing so basically when the campaign ends then if it's funded then I'll, I mean, I get the money. So next chapter get the five percent, and then the PayPal. I think they have the two point eight percent, something like that. And then if I didn't reach the com the target, the target, then I got nothing. So next chapter got nothing, and everyone got nothing. So it's the concept like that. Yeah, I know. So okay. So the development. So we are three developers. Um, one is the front end and two is my senior and then one me. Yeah, I'm also doing managing and the assistant coding for this website. So the technology we use, <coughs> so PageMap MySQL, so we use Laravel 5, SAS for CSS framework. We use Bitbucket for our repository, so it's so simple. So uh, we also use Deployment HQ just to push the the what they call this the changes to the demo either to demo or the live and then because uh, our company is also doing hosting so we don't do the like other cloud server we use Plesk for our hosting UI so we use semantic geotrust for the SSL security so Momi for the widgets <coughs> like the social media widgets uh, and newsletters MailChimp for the newsletter and the Facebook API. Okay, first is what we have done. So after we like, okay, this is the scope for the project. This is what we need. This is what we've done. So this is for the phase one, phase two. So for the phase one, we designed the database. So this is how we designed the database. So we just make it like make to be flexible in the future. So whatever we add. So <coughs> so okay, and then design the UI experience so basically we have this um, inspiration websites like Kickstarter, Indiegogo and uh, those popular uh, crowdfunding sites so um, we also need because it's a female crowdfunding so we make it more feminine like pink hearts and all those icons that is for like women love and we use Trello for our project management. So we, of course, we only like five people working on it. So we just like divide it. Like this is the task that she wanted, and it's done under QC or it's yeah. This is for phase two, and yeah, basically what we're doing now. Yeah, and so we developed the backend using Laravel. Okay, more of the Laravel. So why we select Laravel and why not Code Igniter? I mean, I don't know. Igniter is like it's already dead I, I don't know I hope so <laughs> so it's dead so it's not really 
advisable to use it in the future, like for further development, especially if PHP 7 is coming. Uh, it's already there. there. Cake PHP, um, I don't know. We, we, ju we just want something new. Symphony is quite very industrial, so I think it doesn't really fit for the website. Uh, Kohana doesn't, not a lot of people using it, so maybe it's not. <laughs> then Zen, Zen is a monster. Never mind Zen. <laughs> 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 and yeah, some other Yi framework. We use Yi, but we don't love it. So I mean, the important thing is your team like it. So then we uh, like Laravel. So so why Laravel? Why not? I mean, fresh and young. <laughs> um, fresh because it's new. So and fit, fit. Not doesn't mean like the guy there. So fit means it's fit for us. It fit for like us, like not so very into core of the PHP. So we just code, but we're not it's really, really like the very programmer one. Excellent community. So this is very helpful because a lot of people will help us like if we have problems and stuff, stuff like that. Good relationship. R good relationship means database mapping relationship. Uh, yeah. So we tried it. We tried it one CMS site that we did, and we kind of like it. We like it how our team uh, learn and how we debug the bugs. So, so other technical side of Laravel, why we use Laravel is because of this, its flexibility. Um, it's MVC. So one of the features is the eloquent ORM, which has this. Um, good relationship mapping like this code that we have now. So instead of like declaring the query, select dash, uh, select asterisk from whatever, so we can just call it has many or just like if if pledges is also equal, I mean, campaigner is equal to the member, so we just like belongs to member and then the ID is you know, just pass, just call this model and then, yeah, I can't really describe how I code. <laughs> then Next is the blade, a uh, blade, blade engine. So, the one thing that I like about blade engine, other than the other uh, templating uh, options that we have, is that blade you can it's you can put PHP inside your view, without like without any other like you have to study this, you need to know this, and yeah, and also you can put on the control structure just like wh how we how our code here. So if if campaign is running, then we we display this code, and else if then we display the order now. So it's quite like anyone, any designer can really understand it. Yeah. So even though we don't have any like core background of PHP, we can understand this one. So it's very easy for our front end developer to edit the the view the the view codes. Next is the controller. So not, uh, I mean, I think the new part, the, the nicest feature about the controller for Laravel is the RESTful, uh, RESTful functionality. And other than that, it's just the basic controller, the, the like this, yeah, the code. So other things is powerful tools. So it has a database migration and seeding. So why we really like the database migration is that because we know that this website we will maintain the future. So, what with the because uh, we will be maintaining the site, so the client will just okay. Um, I want this feature. I want this that, and then we just because we're three developers. So, so whenever someone will add tables in our database, and then we will need to be notified that hey, I added database there and. I and then what the nicest about database migration is just it, it will automatically, what, once we are this on migration, so it, it automatically uh, integrates to our database. So that's the cool thing about it. And seeding is for testing. So it's very important, like unit testing and, and putting data in, uh, seeding data in the database. And routing system, so it has um, not so comprehensive routing uh, code like, like the other, uh, like the what's it called, the code igniter. I can't really understand a lot. So the routing system is quite very understandable and it's very cool, and it's ve we're very well documented. So it's not really for dummies, but their website is very like as easy to understand, especially those codes, those 
um, functionalities that you want and the the concept of the framework. It's really re easy to understand. Like a designer can really dig into it. Okay, so s the so these are the Laravels. Who use Laravel? Laravel, by the way. Yeah, cool. <laughs> really, not a lot. Okay, I I just thought there's a lot because it's quite popular, right? Like in 2015, it's like most the number one PHP framework. And so here are some the some Laravel vendors that we use. So Mailchimp, Folklore Image is for the image manipulation, resizing, cropping, and yeah, yeah, the the, cro the the rotation, and PayPal. So REST API SDK PHP. So it it is from PayPal that GitHub that come. Socialite is for the Facebook login. Yeah, so for the future updates. So actually, what we did for PayPal is not really the correct one, because supposedly because is a crowdfunding site, right? So we should get money until the campaign ends or if it's successful. But what we're doing now is get the payment, get a payment, then if it's successful, then we get the money. Uh, money will be there, stay there in the next chapter account. But if not, we will refund all these people, which is not very advisable. So we're, sti we're still thinking uh, of how we're going to do this. So I think what we're going to do is the authorization. So um, so we will authorize PayPal. So, okay, if I am if I am a pledger, so I will authorize PayPal to send money to this next chapter account on the closing date. Yeah. So I think that's the correct one. So. Yeah. So uh, it's not mine. So it's, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> yeah. So that's how we're going to do. So yeah, we're still doing implementing that. And uh, I, I think that we also need to, cons like, to ask permission or to submit application to PayPal that we'll be doing that. I'm not sh sure. Yeah, because this is a crowdfunding. It's not really like a common business <laughs> yeah, in PayPal. And then more payment option gateways. So we're thinking about uh, Payment Express. So have you used Payment Express or Asia Pay? Yeah, y it's just like to enter credit card automatically. Um, I think the the stressful part of using this kind of gateways is that um, applying to the bank, which yeah. re nine months. There's one agency that I found here in mm -hmm. Singapore that, that handles a lot of that stuff for you. Um, I, I'll okay. See which one it is. Yeah. But yeah, it's kind of it's kind of a story process really to to get the, the payment gateway and also mm -hmm. set up with yeah. 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 So, okay, cool. Uh, that one. Oh, sorry? Ah, okay. uh, there could be closing, right? I'm shutting down. That's not it. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, but Stripe is PayPal? No. Okay, it's. Braintree is PayPal. Yeah, yeah, the Braintree. So, in TechCrunch, they'll be shutting down. But if you have a US dollar account, you can use uh, PayPal with US dollars. Yeah, okay, yeah. So, that might be applicable for some markets. Yeah, maybe I'll try that. Yeah. Yeah, the, uh, mm. the main audience are is Asian countries or Thai Oh, okay, really? For um, for bit. <laughs> for you. Ah, uh, for uh, okay. <laughs> currently, <laughs> currently the 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 campaigners are Hong Kong, but we are we want to expand also uh, over the Asia of the world. But the, most of the pledger are like from Australia, U.S. and uh, China, especially leggings. Because they can afford it, it's so expensive. <laughs> yeah, but they can't, they can't access people there. Not yet. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's crazy. <laughs> for, for PayPal, for certain countries, you, even though I, I said that you, you can register, you can pay without registering, it will still prompt you to register. Oh. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Certain countries are. Mm. Yeah, but the problem also we have encountered because our our target people also is our expats in Hong Kong. So in Hong Kong is like once you go to PayPal, it's Chinese. Mm. <laughs> so we have like spent a lot of days because the 
uh, the API for PayPal is doesn't really have that option. But they implement the direct pay thing. Uh, mm -hmm. There's you, you can set up a um, I think it's called direct pay or something like yeah. that. Yeah. And and I mean ours is in English. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's English here, but in Hong Kong it's a Chinese. But no, what I'm saying is this mm. is the back end, whatever, whatever you, you you can do all the processing yeah. yourself. They don't they don't even have to look at the PayPal page. So you, they you, you can ah uh, okay through, I got you your, yeah through your own uh, mm. uh, coding you can send all the information to yeah them and yeah I, yeah I think we will consider so you, so you it can as do well it in whatever language mm. you want to do it in yeah okay you can do that might as well use Stripe or Green like that that design <coughs> rather than with PayPal there's something they've added on this extra feature it's other people have done it therefore they have to. Yeah. But that was kind of what Stripe was designed to do in Bainfield the same. Mm -hmm. Was that you have, you just put the fields in, right? And yeah. you, you can type whatever text around it you want. Exactly. Stripe would be the I'm not sure. <laughs> That's why it's pretty difficult, yeah. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for the suggestion. I love it. So, okay. And user experience improvement. So, um, most of our users, based <coughs> on Google Analytics, are mobile phone. So, we we kind of need to improve it. Like, expi uh, example, in the heat maps, people don't scroll down. So we need people to scroll down. <laughs> and we need the, like, in the mobile phone, we need it, like, everything is in there already in the first view. Because some people are too lazy to scroll down. And sometimes if it loads so slow, they don't like it. So we need to have, like, all this consideration. Yeah. And functionality enhancements, especially at the back end. So there's a lot to improve on this website. And we're open for suggestions. So that's why I'm here. So we're open to just on how to improve the website. So just go to the website nextchapter.com.hk. Yeah, so thank you. And get in touch. Here's my email. So if you have suggestions and comments and like, hey, I don't like this. Hey, you can do this or other like useful geeky stuff that you type in your keyboard. And visit me on my LinkedIn at me. So it's April Kwong and my blog is aralovelace.com. Thank you very much. Any questions for April? No, I share. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, sorry for my, I just asked a question. Uh, how do you do your testing? Uh, do you do direct email call on the endpoints or you actually use the GC? Is it already the what? Uh, yeah. So I do say we didn't install yet the unit testing. Yeah, so because it's not really like a lot of functions. We have like small few fields. So we, it's a waste of time, right? Sometimes it's there's a right thing to when to use unit testing. I saw that on your Facebook. <laughs> yeah, so blame you. <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, no more questions. Thank you. Thank you <laughs> okay, Thank thanks. You.